All right, guys, now we are going to talk about organ systems and how our body, which is an organism, is made up of all these subsystems and how those subsystems work together to help us maintain an equilibrium and homeostasis. Those are terms that you should recognize. Remember, we've been talking about the body system for a while, starting with cells. A bunch of cells work together to make tissues. Tissues work together to make organs. Organs work together to make organ systems. And then organ systems work together to make an organism, in this case, us. So we have about eight systems to cover. And you need to write down everything I write down in the correct columns. So our first system is the cardiovascular system or and or the circulatory system. It goes by either name. You need to recognize both. Cardio, we've talked about before. Cardio is referring to the heart. And circulatory, I drew a circle. And it makes a circle or a cycle. That's what those two prefixes mean for these words to help you remember what system this is. Now let's talk about the function. Its job is to circulate blood that carries H2O, which is water, O2, which is oxygen, and CO2. If you don't remember those abbreviations, then you should write out the words. It also carries nutrients and liquid waste and hormones. So those are things being carried in the blood that belong to other systems. Nutrients belong to the digestive system. Hormones belongs to the endocrine system. Liquid waste, the kidneys, so the urinary system. So all these other systems are working together. The main organs for this system is going to be the heart and your blood vessels, your arteries. Your arteries take oxygenated blood away from the heart. That's why in pictures you usually see your arteries as red and your veins as blue. They're blue because they're taking blood back to your heart and lungs that has gone through your whole cycle of your body and circulated through and all the oxygen's gone. So that means it's minus O2. Also, there are capillaries, or you have a capillary that should be an IES. And so let me cross this out. Make that an IES. Insert that there. So capillaries. I'll show you a capillary refill in class. Remind me. Our next system is the urinary or excretory system. Urinary is another word. It means urine. And what is urine? It is pee. Okay? And your excretory system, ex excretory or excrete, EX means exit. And excrete means to expel. So for your urinary system, those are two words that cover the basis there. You're excreting your urine. You're peeing. Pretty simple. The function, it filters blood through the kidneys to remove liquid waste. It produces urine, also known as pee. You like the color coordination I got going on, don't you? Um, your major organs, kidneys, those are the bean-shaped things right here. Your uterus, those are the tubes that connect your, I'm trying to draw this, let me get a darker color, your bean-shaped kidneys, right there, I'm drawing them on both sides. They're going to connect it to your bladder, which is a storage site for your pee. And then, let's see if I can get this. This right here is your urethra. It's pointing to that tube right there. That's a tube that takes the urine or pee 
from the bladder out of your body. All four of these organs, both girls and boys have, men and women, we all have them, okay? Your next system is your respiratory system. So your respiratory system has the major organs of the diaphragm, your trachea, your lungs, your bronchial tubes, and your nose. I'm going to show those to you towards the end. Oh, I'm going to show them to you right now. So I highlighted, it goes in through your nose or your mouth, goes down your trachea. So we are going to start here with our breathing, goes down our trachea. The red are your bronchial tubes. They connect your trachea to your lungs. They divide off. If you've ever had bronchitis, it's the inflammation of those of your bronchi. Um, I put nose at the end of the list, but that was the first thing that went in. And then um, this is your lungs. And then the last thing, or the first thing on your list, but the last thing I'm talking about where I just colored blue, is your diaphragm. That's a muscle that helps your lungs expand and expel the air in and out of your lungs. The function. Oh, I forgot the alveoli. Those are itty bitty things that we'll be able to show you pictures of in class that are little sacs that help with the carbon dioxide oxygen exchange. All right, so the function is basically breathing. Your lungs are the main organ in your respiratory system and it's what allows you to breathe. It's exchange of O2, you take that in, and carbon dioxide, CO2, you give it out, off. So that's the respiratory system. Digestive system. Your function is to ingest food. Your body breaks down food and uses the nutrients. And then it also helps you excrete. Remember, EX is exit, or excrete is expels. Solid waste. Oh, okay, so let me back up here a second. Um, when you eat, it goes in your mouth, down your esophagus, into your stomach, which is where that black is that I just circled. And then at, in the, during that process, your liver, your gallbladder, and your pancreas are all also functioning. Your gallbladder is that little green thing. The liver is the bigger maroon thing. And your pancreas is kind of tucked under that you can't see. Those are all involved. Your pancreas releases insulin. And your liver and gallbladder release enzymes to help break down food. Then it goes into your small intestine, which is that big the squiggly stuff in the center there and then to your large intestine and then after all the liquid waste has been removed out of your system and all the ends and all the nutrients it, all the solid waste that's left keeps getting pushed through your system and then sits there your rectum and anus until you expel your solid waste so those are all your major organs mouth esophagus, stomach, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, small and large intestines, rectum and anus. Okay, next system, nervous system. Your major organs are your brain and your spinal cord or spinal column. Um, let's see, brain, spinal column. And then your nerves are the blue, well, on your paper it's not blue, but on the fun video it is. The blue branches off that are running through your body. There's actually two main parts to your nervous system. You have your central nervous system, which includes your brain. Your brain is broken into other parts, your cerebrum, your medulla, your medulla, excuse me and your cerebellum, and then your spinal cord. And then your other system is your nerves and your sense organs. That other system, the PNS, is the peripheral nervous system. 
the PNS, peripheral nervous system. So your nerves and your sense organs. There's five sense organs, hearing, smell, sight, touch, and taste. So your five sense organs and your nerves all belong to the PNS. Your brain and your spinal cord belong to the central nervous system because they're in the central part of your body. The job of your nervous system is to take in information from the outside world or the outside environment, things that are happening around you. And it decides what to do with that. Um, you know, you put your hand on the stove, on the eye that you cook on, and that's the outside environment, and you put your hand on there, and then your body says, oh, I should move my hand because this is really, really hot, and then your body does. That's the response. So what do I need to do here? Do I do this or do I do that? Your body tells you. You want to lift your arm? Your brain's telling you to do that. Um, I think that's your nervous system. Oh, I circled the brain and spinal column are your central nervous system. And then your nerves are your peripheral nervous system. All right. Skeletal. Your skeletal system... Um, the human skeleton has 206 bones, okay? So that picture just has some of them, and I'm not going to name all 206 bones as your major organs. You just are going to know that your bones are your major organs. Also, cartilage and ligaments, and we'll talk about those when we get to the muscular system. Function. The skeletal system has four jobs. One is to protect your organs. Like, your skull protects your brain. Your ribs protect your heart and lungs. That's the job of those major organs. The second job is to store minerals and fat. Um, the storing of minerals and fat. Um, storing minerals and fats helps regulate your body systems and helps with the digestive system produces blood cells. That is in the bone marrow, which is in the center of your bones. And the fourth and final job is for movement. The main thing we think about with your skeleton. It works with your muscles. So there's your skeletal system. Alright, integumentary system. Your integumentary system is your Oh, let's not use that pen. It's too hard to see that highlighter. Let's use this one. Is your skin. That's the main one. It's your skin, but it's also your hair and your nails. Its job is to protect the body. It also maintains homeostasis. You guys know that word. Um, what does homeostasis mean? Yep, balance. It regulates the body temperature. Um, you, we've talked about that. You shiver to warm up. You sweat to cool down. That's helping to maintain that homeostasis in your body with your body temperature. Um, it helps keep water in and the bad stuff out. If you didn't have skin, first of all, all your nerves would be exposed. So it would hurt, your body would hurt all the time. Things could get into your body to cause infection. So your skin helps keep those things out and helps protect you. Alright, the last system is the muscular system. Um, there are muscles, those are your major organs. But there are three types of muscles that we're going to talk about. There's the cardiac muscle, which is your heart your heart beats, it's the cardiac muscle. So that is one type of muscle and that's the only thing that fits in that category. The second type is smooth muscles. Your organs are made of smooth muscle tissue. Um, your stomach, your small and large intestines, those are really considered muscles because they contract to help push the food through your body. Your lungs also have smooth muscle tissue. And then the, finally, the, mo the one we most often think of when we're thinking about our muscular system is our muscles that attach to our bones, to our skeletal body. And 
it works with our bones and attaches to our bones to help us move. There's ligaments and tendons that are attaching our bones and our muscles together. Ligaments attach bones to bone. Okay, you've heard of people that have anterior cruciate ligament tears. That's con connecting a bone to a bone. Your tendons connect muscles to bones. So your patella tendon is right here. And that attaches your muscle from your leg to your to your bone. Or your Achilles tendon is back here, attaches your calf muscle to your heel. So ligaments, tendons, and cartilage, I said earlier when we talked about the skeletal system, that that's, cartilage is just a cushion that fits in between your bones. All right, so the function, it allows movement, works with the skeletal system to allow us to move. It also works with the digestive system to help digest food. The muscular system also works with the cardiovascular system because the heart is a muscle. It also works with the nervous system because your brain's got to tell your body to move. When you say, I want to lift my arm up and raise my hand, your brain has to work with your muscles and your bones to make that happen. It works with your respiratory system because your diaphragm is part of the muscle, it's a muscle, and it helps your lungs expand and contract to get air in and out. It also helps with your urinary system because your bladder is also muscle. So the muscular system is like super important and is involved in so many things. But this is not the only system that's involved in so many things. I pointed it out to you on some of the others. But you should think about all your systems that we've discussed and think about which ones overlap and work together because that's how our body maintains homeostasis and how all those subsystems help keep our bodies regulated. Make sure you wrote down everything I wrote down. It's a lot of stuff because the body system is a lot. It's vast. We, our bodies are amazing things. Um, go back and re-watch this. Guys, it's a lot of notes, but you needed to make sure you take them all in order to have good notes for your quiz. Alright, that's it.